it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So I'm here with, watch out, girly, with Cashmere's Whelping Box. I was told that this was, there we go. Nope, preacher, stay out. Cashmere! Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right. <clears throat> Let's see her do a little bit of nesting behavior in there. Stay. This latch is not as easy as I would like it to be. There we go. Go, nest. No, stay. Shh, go, nest. Make it your home. Go lay down. Go lay down. In my closet. Let's see. It's not bad. Then we have plastic down at the bottom. Just stapled up on all sides. It's like a poly. This is hay. Ready to go. Hey there, cutie. Hey there, cutie. You good girl. Yeah. You good girl. You stay, Cashmere. You stay. Don't you try to jump out and make me mad. Go on. No. Go in there. Go lay down. Go lay down. You're rejecting my whelping box. She always does this every time. Every time. She's like, I don't like your whelping box. This is not comfortable. She kind of looks at it. She's like, I don't know about that. Has a sad face. Like I'm torturing her. She's like, I had a perfectly good spot underneath. All those branches that you burned. Don't know why you had to burn my den. She's probably mad. But you were not going to den in there. It was not going to happen. Nope. No, it was not going to happen. She's a little bit wet right now. I had them outside. And um, it's hot outside. So in order to kind of let them enjoy themselves out there, I wet them so they don't get too hot. You better go and lay down in your spot right now. Go den. Go den. Do what mothers do. She's not even close yet. She's not due for a while. She's huge, but she's not due till the 13th. You're big old girl. I mean, she's still due soon, but not like, you know, she's not. Usually they want to be in here like within a, you know, a day or two. She's kind of eyeballing it, thinking about it. What do you want, Blair? I talk to my cats. <laughs> yep, you better go lay down. Cashmere. No, go lay down. Go lay down over there. Go on, over there. <laughs> don't you, don't lean on the door. Go. Go on. You're a good boy, preacher. Do you want to show her how to lay down in her den? Hmm. Let's see what she does. Usually she'll get territorial. Mm -mm. Preacher, go in there. Go in there. Look, look, look. Let's see what happens. Good boy, preacher. Go in there. Go on. Go. He's like, I'm not supposed to be in there, man. For real. I know I ain't supposed to be in there. I know what that's for. I've seen that a couple times, man. Really, dude? Really? Cashmere, get out of my bed. You're not having your babies in my bed. That's not happening. 
Come on. Psst, get down. Let's go. Come here. Come here. Meow. Good girl. Come here, Cashmere. <whistles> she always acts so tortured, I swear. Nah, get out of my bed. Now. Come here. Right now. You go in there. Right now. Get in your box. That's right. You go lay down. You better go lay down. There we go. There's some nesting a little bit. There we go. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. You're a good boy, preacher. Is that where your babies are going to be born? Yeah. You're a good boy preacher for keeping her company. Yes, you are. It's a really good size whelping box right there, man. It's perfect. Honestly, it's perfect. It's bit just big enough for all the stages of life in here. Like for example, it's not too big that whenever we have the heat lamp in here, that the puppies, if they move away, that they can get too far away from the heat lamp. Plus this nicely enclosed room should keep them pretty warm, um, should keep a pretty good temperature. So it'll be really great for ensuring that none of the puppies get cold no matter where they are in the box. It's also not too big that they can get lost. Like the other one was too big. So some of the puppies would kind of get lost on one side of the pen and they wouldn't, I would have to move them over um, when it was eating time and stuff like that. And, um, and this is just big enough to where by the time that they are too big for this, they'll be ready to go. <clears throat> you know what I mean? They'll be um, not ready to go out of the house, but, but ready to be out of this whelping box. You know, they'll be ready to be in their puppy pen with their litter box and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be perfect. And now that it's summertime, um, I'm actually going to have like an outside area set up so that we can do more of the kind of outside video that I did in my last, um, in my very first litter that we weren't able to do with my last one because it was winter time. So very cool. Very cool. So anyway... But yeah, this is a this is a success. I'm very happy about this. This is perfectly good sized to where I can take it anywhere I need to go. Um, I do wish that the plastic was a little bit higher, but no big deal. The fact that it is just going to maintain keeping the floors clean is important to me because it is wrapped up. Can't see it on that side, but it's 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 um, stapled up all the way around, kind of like a pool. And then we'll just maintain keeping clean hay and clean bedding. When we first have the puppies, I won't actually have this hay. I'm going to put down a sheet. And then once they get a little bit bigger and this hay gets smashed down some, then I'll bring the puppies in. Or as far as I'll take the sheet out. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on her whelping box. And um, 
and just kind of show you guys what we're working with here. It's pretty much the same design as last time, just a little bit more sophisticated, but it works. It shouldn't be anything too fantastic because no matter what you're doing in the end, you're, you're just creating an area that is going to be saturated and um, a lot of messy stuff. So, you know, it pays to kind of have something cheap like this so that if you need to replace it or whatever, you can do that pretty easily. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. I know everybody was interested and um, I'll talk at you later. Bye.